the ourhouse.com Florida Citrus Bowl. We have just had a penalty flag thrown <laughs> against Manuel of the Gators, who was attempting to fire the crowd up. Dead ball. Unfortunate conduct. excited about the game I I mean and you know Brent I feel that they should not excessively draw attention to themselves I, I'm a big fan of that here rule. are the three Gary who have been tossed out Hubert Thompson gone for the Spartans Kenyatta Walker and Demetrius Lewis Kenyatta Walker a starting tackle yeah and they all deserve the right to be side. they all deserve to be thrown out of the game but during a TV timeout both sets of fans the Michigan State fans are cheering. The Gator fans are into the game, and the players are, too. The Gator fans are in this baby to stay now, and the Spartan fans join them. It's the SEC against the Big Ten, and now they're hooting and hollering. Burke of the Spartans down the sideline. Grabbed by Burris was the out-of-bounds juggling the ball. Couldn't hang on as he came down the sideline that time against Robert Cromarty who's back in the game see Burris does not help his quarterback here gets too far outside too near the sideline there's no room to throw the ball here that's almost a perfect throw but not enough room for him to catch it you gotta move in a little bit and help your quarterback give him some space to you throw. are really an ex-quarterback if you're blaming your wife oh yeah you gotta do that I'd, I'd, I'd be all over him in the stretch it down and pen Burke in the shotgun. The blitz. Davis takes and fumble. Gators pounce on it. Gators recover it. Alex Brown goes for the loose football as Andre Davis comes on the blitz for the Gators. And those two, one a sophomore, the other also a sophomore, put it together for Florida. Number 45, Andre Davis comes clean. Nobody blocks him. Sticks his left hand, gets him on the shoulder pad, and Burke drops the ball as he comes down. You watch, watch the Florida quarterbacks. They hold the ball in two hands when they're in the pocket. Burke just one hand on the ball. Johnson straight back. Going for the juggler on first down. Got it in the end zone. No. Incomplete. Daryl Jackson battling for possession in the end zone with Cedric Henry, who has stepped in for Amp Campbell and couldn't make the play. Ball was slightly underthrown. How do you like that one? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the first negative thing you said about a QB all day. <laughs> ball is slightly underthrown. See how the receiver has to slow down, gives Henry a chance to do it. No, but that's where you throw the ball, where you give the quarterback room to throw it inside or outside to make the play. That's how you run that route. He's on Cedric Henry now. He's replaced Amp Campbell, second down and 10. Campbell shaking up, short drop. They go back after him. And over the top of him to Daryl Jackson. And uh, Dr. Root, what's the situation now with Amp Campbell down on the field? Well, Brent, he should not, and I repeat, should not be going out on the field, but that's not the case. He is going to go out. Both of his hamstrings cramped up so bad that he could hardly walk. He's such a competitor that he pushed aside the trainer and said, I'm the leader on the defense. I've got enough to go back out there again. Yeah, he's got enough to go out there, but does he have enough to stay with the receiver on a fade? If I'm Spurrier, I'm going right at him first play. He backs off the bump and run. They toss to go the other way. Here comes the end around the pass. Back to Johnson, the quarterback, the eligible receiver in the key formation in the college game. And Johnson steps out of bounds. The only way you can do it in the NFL is you line him up in the gun. That's 11 yards. That's about the eighth trick play that the Gators have run today. Pitch back. Pitch it again. The receiver just lobs it out there. That's an easy one to throw. Johnson makes the catch. Another first down. So Daryl Jackson with his first pass and his first completion of the game gives the Gators a Help. first down inside the 15-yard line. Gillespie checks in as the running back. The fun and gun. Back off now to Gillespie. Gillespie coming short side, short of the 10-yard line. The 
Gators wanted a late hit on the play, but I don't think they'll get any yellow this time. Am Campbell is playing at 50%. I just don't see how they can keep him in the football game. Limping as he comes back. They've and now Henry replaces him. They've got to. Henry replaces him, and Ample go off. He just can't cover his receiver. Sooner or later, the coaches in the box are going to see that and go right at him. They're going after Henry anyway. Second and seven. The blitz against Johnson. Fires the flanker screen. Taylor looking for daylight. Head off and out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Eric Morris, the defender. Well, for two schools that have never faced each other, there's a little bit of motion going on, aren't there? Isn't there out now? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> this is, you I think, think they played is, each other every year? Right, and I, I think this is what everybody likes to see when these great conferences get together. Instead of these great schools in their non-conference games trying to get, you know, cupcakes to play, why don't they play each other and let the fans enjoy these games? Third down and seven. Here they come again. Gators lead it by a point. <laughs> Gillespie to the middle. Gillespie. Bamor in the end zone. He got it back, I think. Touchdown. Touchdown. Recovered in the end zone for a Gator touchdown. Robert Gillespie charges after the loose ball and recovers it for the score. That's great quickness, getting back up as quick as he did to get this ball. Watch it. Little draw play. Gets tackled. Ball pops loose. Look how quick he gets back up for that ball. Grabs it with one hand for the touchdown. That is a sensational play by Robert Gillespie out of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. 5'9", 185, only a sophomore. Jeff Chandler. Take one more look at Robert Gillespie. Gary Danielson told you the key, the quick recovery, the one-handed grab for the touchdown. 34-26, timeout. I don't know about you, Mr. Danielson, but I'll settle for this score Tuesday night. Yeah, that would be fun. Okay. <laughs> Remember now, Michigan State is only one big play and a two-point conversion away from a tie. Yeah. It's 34-26. 13-27 remain in a dandy powerhouse.com Florida Super Bowl. Hey, good. Trying to make the Spartans feel good out to the 24-yard line. Brent, let's set up the Dell solutions. We looked at them at the beginning of the game. Let's see if they've changed. I said you got to use your mismatches if you're Michigan State. Go to Burris and Duckett. I think that still stands. Get Burris the ball, get Duckett the ball, locate Brown. When they block Brown, they've done a good job. Florida, get off the blocks on the running game, yes, and jam Burris. Jam Scott. That's the best way to stop them. Still stands. Senior Bill Burke from Warren, Ohio, brings the Spartans out. Freshman T.J. Duckett from Kalamazoo, Michigan, behind him. The swing to Duckett. Duckett steps lively. Fumble out of bounds. Michigan State Ooh. with a break as the ball rolls out of bounds Can't do that. after Duckett coughed it up. Can't do that to me, T.J. I just said you're not a fumbler with those big hands. Out to the side, cuts back inside, has the ball in the right hand. That's the proper hand, but just at the end, Kind of a strip by Andre Javis right there coming across. As much and as tough second half seasons as both of these quarterbacks have had, they've kind of both come through in this football game for their team. And then Burke and Johnson have really stood tall. First down, the FCC already with two big wins today. One against the Big Ten, Georgia and OT against Purdue. Miami doing a number on Georgia Tech, holding Joe Hamilton to 13 points. Clemens for the first down. Well, tonight, ABC's New Year's Day college football triple header continues. It'll be Alabama and Michigan. Sean Alexander against the age train. Anthony Thomas, two fine running backs in the FedEx Orange Bowl live at 8.30 Eastern time. You're going to see another knockdown football game in that one. 
First down. Cross to Clemens. Clemens runs hard, real hard for a first down near midfield. You know, Clemens' best game of the year was against Illinois. Gained 141 yards against the Illini. Transferred from Rhode Island, senior. Kind of the speed and the hammer. The Tuck gets the hammer and the speed by Clemens. Pretty good tandem right there for these guys. Clemens, 14 carries, 78 yards. And T.J. Duckett re-enters the game. Gary Scott has been very quiet in this football game. Not a catch. He's been open a few times. I've seen him open. Maybe they can get the game breaker deep. Gary Scott. In motion. Here's Duckett. And we had a chance yesterday to ask DJ, what was the high point in your freshman season at Michigan State? Michigan was a big win. Penn State was a big win. And um, Michigan seems to count my mind the most because Penn State rivalry meant the most. Great spirit, just like you saw in that yep. brief soundbite. Mentioned the Wolverines. They beat them soundly. And, of course, tonight their state rival goes up against Alabama. I believe Michigan opened as a favorite in that game, and it got turned around. I think Bama is a slight favorite in that game tonight. So that shows you a good difference of opinion there around the country about what folks think is going to happen in that. And it's going to be a good one. Second down and seven. Stop in motion again. Burke. Got Burris wide open and just dropped it right to him between two Gator defenders out of bounds at the 31 and 18 yard game. Uh, Lito Shepard, the freshman there, just found out what it's like to go against an NFL receiver. <laughs> because watch this turnaround. Whoop! Wrong way. Look at that isolation. The difference between a high school player and an NFL player, Burris is laughing as he catches that one. Now he has caught nine balls for 127 yards. Spartans are down by eight, 10.52 to go. Burris is, you know, men against boys out there. I mean, he just heads and shoulders, not only in height, but in talent, better than these corners for Florida. Well, Marty back on the field against him. Burris going to run for the end zone. They've got him. Touchdown! Michigan State, a two-point conversion away. 30 yards to Plaxico Burris. 6'6", 222 out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Didn't even put a fake on that time. Just ran straight down the field. Go to your mismatches. Here's the safety. Here's the corner. Watch this. Right in between him. Doesn't even fake. Just runs right down the middle of the field. Not even a great route that time. That's too easy. With that 10th catch of the game, Plexico ties the career high. 10 catches for 157 yards, three touchdowns, and now, as I told you, they would go for the two-point conversion. Remember, they had the fade last time. Looking for Burris. Burke goes to Scott. Tied. Great football game. 10.46 remaining in the hour house. Florida Citrus Bowl. Michigan State and Florida are deadlocked at 34. Go Burris, his three touchdowns tied a record set earlier today by Travis Taylor of Florida. And now it is going to be Taylor's turn to go to work with senior quarterback Doug Johnson. 10 46 remaining. Deadlock. 34 all here. Capel coming out. Huntley slips. 13 yard line. And a penalty flag, and it's a foolish penalty. He was already down. There was no need to give him the business, as our friend Ben Bryce yep. once said in an NFL game. He didn't need the business. He was already down, young man. And that's the second penalty for Sean Wright. Remember, he had the one earlier on the quarterback. Foul on the kitchen team, 15 yards. <laughs> that is a horrible mistake. And the coach is telling him that right now. This isn't the NFL either. The guy is down. You don't go for a loose ball like this and start ripping it. That just, that one was bizarre. Uh, you were headed in the right direction. That one was stupid. 
I, I edited it. <laughs> well, you live in this. That guy young kid. That guy young <laughs> First down at 10 for the Gators. Ball high, middle. The 45 yard line. That's a fine 17 yard reception. I think the Gators now are starting to remember that game tape they watched of Purdue throwing the ball against Michigan State. 500 yards Drew Brees put on this Spartan team. And it looks now the Gators are saying anything we throw works. The shocking thing is Michigan State being able to throw like they have against the Gators today. Travis Taylor going back to work now. They show blitz, the Spartans do, and here they come. Peterson. Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> right now. There is a bright orange monster over the field today. The Monster.com blimp Trump is bringing us these great views from the sky. Monster.com, the leading global careers website, offering opportunities from intern to CEO. Visit Monster.com today. We have had some Monster.com performances down on the field here today. Well, uh, let's give you Julian Peterson's a monster, that's for sure. Isn't he, though, in the best sense of that word? Let's uh, check in on the right tackle of Florida, number 79 is Leon Hire. Now, he's out of Bradenton, Florida. He replaced Kenyatta Walker, who was ejected from the game. One of three fellows who've been tossed out here has to hold up. Johnson gets his time. Fires, and it was almost picked off. Daryl Jackson, the intended target. Stop route to the outside right here. One receiver going to the other side. Had the short throw. Doug got a little bit too confident that time. Throwing the ball into traffic. Move the chains. Now on third and long. Let's see if they come back over the middle of this defense. Gators looking for 11 yards. And they throw the ball to the 45-yard line. Starting to push the line. They, do they jump or would they pull? There's penalty markers well for the linesman <laughs> and the umpire. The center never snapped the ball, Kalich, that time. He kind of flinched, but he never gave it to the quarterback. Ball start on the offense. Five yards. Remain third down. What a reminder that the Rose Bowl presented by AT&T is coming up next. Ron Dane and the Wisconsin Badgers go up against the Stanford Cardinals. Todd Husek. We'll be looking for receivers downfield to try and keep Stanford, the upset winner in the Pac-10 this year, in that Rose Bowl contest. And that'll be coming up right after we finish this, which might be a while. 9.26 left in regulation. Tied at 34. Johnson. Fumble. Michigan State may have it. Peterson. They do. Peterson closing in, and as he knocks it loose, Robert Smith recovers it. Remember, just before the false start, Peterson was lined up to the left of the quarterback. Coming back, defensive coordinator Billy Miller calls another pitch, another defense, moves him to the other side, and Miller gets a turnover with a great call. Switch inside, he's got him matched up against a running back. Actually, it's a wide receiver again. And that's a bad matchup for Florida. Alex Willis is not going to block Julia Peterson. Woo! Do the Gators have an answer for Burris? Plaxico with 10 catches and three touchdowns, 157 yards. They'll take a running play anytime. And Clemens stuff on first down. Second down and long coming up. Anytime they don't look for number four in this game, the way it's unfolded, that's advantage Florida. Now, I said that about two and a half quarters ago, right? And it's really been this guy, every time he doesn't get one, you can understand why he's shaking his head. I mean, he's saying, just give me the ball. The freshman is back out defensively. They have tried Pro Marty. They've gone back to Shepard. Alexander tried it, right? He couldn't do it. Lito Shepard, and he's looking for help as he goes outside. Manuel, the safety's out there on the slot receiver. Second down, Burke rolling. That rush got burst underneath, wide open. Wide open. Bubble! And the Gators 
But let's see if Michigan State didn't recover it. They're signaling on the field that they have it. So the day is saved. The ball was knocked loose by Alex Brown, the outstanding sophomore defender. Well, this was as good a get as Gillespie's get for the touchdown. Because I think uh, Plaxico got the ball back. There's nobody else there to get it. China route. One guy goes up. This guy will just stop in the flat right there. You get the bail technique. Throw it to the wide receiver. Brown knocks it loose. And, whoa, look at that. Right Coming back top. to get the ball. Yep. Great recovery. Right over the top. The big long arms. Got a, but he's got a touchdown. He's got a tackle with those long arms. And now he gets a fumble recovery with those long arms. He also has a career high 11 receptions for 165 yards. Third down. The Spartans need three for a first down. Yeah. And the Gators stuff it at the point of attack. Buck Gurley and Gerard Warren penetrate the line of scrimmage. So when the two defensive tackles can blow across the line like that, the Spartans will attempt a field goal. We're at the Our House. Dot com Florida Citrus Bowl with 725 to go deadlocked at 34 this will be a 45 yard attempt for the lead by Paul Edinger Burke is his holder off to the right no good his first year as a coach and the stomach continues to churn in his first game here in Orlando. Five out. It's been rocking in Orlando today. 34 all with 7-10 to go, and the Gators take over. First and 10. The ball is on their own 28-yard line. Johnson, who has quarterback the entire game for Steve's career. Bo Carroll out to the left side of the formation. They're down to two running backs, and Johnson taking a lot of time. Gets it off. Gillespie on the field at the same time. And uh, the Gators with a wide variety of formations. Probably as many formations as I've seen any team use in a single game this year. And they haven't been making the mistakes that they made early in the year. They seem to be more in control, more in tune, and running the right play. Coming up next, the 2004 Taurus pregame show prior to the Rose Bowl, presented by AT&T. That's right ahead of us now. Second down and eight. Toss play. Gillespie. To the 33 yard line. It'll bring up third down. Sailor makes the play defensively for Michigan State. Johnson leading 50% of his passes. We said get ready for overtime. One team averages 31, the other 30.8, and there's 34 points for each team on the board. Hey, that makes sense, right? Yeah, absolutely. Gillespie has rushed for 68 yards today. Third and five, Spurrier may want the pass in this situation against this run defense. Here he comes. Amp Campbell back on the field at corner for Michigan State. Johnson looks away from him. High and oh, that would have been a big play. Had they hit Daryl Jackson, he was behind Hill by half a step, but the ball was thrown a little too hard and a little too high. Ronaldo Hill that time guessed, guessed, slant, knew he had the safety blitz coming right here inside and he knew the quarterback Johnson would have to get rid of it early guess the slant he was right and the ball had to be thrown high Gary Scott fine punt returner from Michigan State and remember he caught the pass for the two-point conversion that tied this game up big play kind of fellas standing back there by the 30-yard line Alan Ryan the punter hangs it high Scott will signal fair catch he is hit Inadvertently hit yeah. on the play. Probably be from the spot where the, the play, where, where Scott was hit, a five-yard advance. Michael Yonkin is the long snapper who was downfield on the play, and Spurrier a little bit frustrated about his last two offensive drives. They didn't go anywhere. Now, the fair way of this, to me, would be where the ball hit. You'd get five yards from there, because that's where you would assume Scott would have caught the ball on the fair catch. Fair catch interference on the kitchen team. The 15-yard penalty with contact. Whoa. First down. So there is no rule. 
of five yards. You touch him, it's 15 yards. So the interference was against Benez Gooch, number 24, a one-time Seminole, who transferred over to Gainesville. And that's who ran into Gary Scott. So now there have been nine penalties for 95 yards against Spurrier and the, uh, and the Gators. Does it not seem like every drive starts off with a 15-yard penalty in this game? Michigan State with favorable field position, 55 yards away from the end zone, and Burke back in that shotgun. Wide open is Toxico. There's about 15 more yards down to the 40-yard line. That's 180 yards with 12 catches for Plaxico Burris today. Gutsy throw by Bill Burke that time. Threw it right over the outstretched arm of Alex Brown that time, number 33, 13, excuse me. Watch the throw. Watch Brown to the right side of the screen. Jumps up. It had to be thrown high, but not lobbed, so that Burris could get the ball, turn up field, and make the first down. Perfect throw. Robert Cromarty. The corner, Blaxico comes to the other side where the freshman, Lito Shepard, picks him up. He's off to the left of Burke. Clemens on an inside handoff. And let us check in with Jack Aruz, Jack. Brenton, the local paper, the Orlando Sentinel, asked Spartan quarterback Bill Burke what his new millennium dream would be. He listed this scenario. He said, my dream would be in the Our House Citrus Bowl with less than five minutes to go and either being tied or being down and me being able to take my team, march down the field, and score the winning score. We'll have to wait and see if dreams come true in the year 2000. And he's right on target, isn't he? And, he, and he's in the right city, too, isn't it, where dreams come true at this <laughs> Second down and 10. Burke. Deflected. And Alex got a hand on it, and it'll be third down. Hey, uh, one. If you're John Hope right now, you got to decide what you're going to do. Are you going to bring the blitz, go one-on-one -on -one against Plexico, bring the zone blitz and try to get some help for him? I think you need to put pressure on Burke. That's the only way to stop this passing game. The freshman goes nose to nose. They're going to try to bracket Plexico and force him back inside. There's safety help. Burke looks back underneath now to Scott. Flips free of Pino, out to the 30. First down, Michigan State on a third and 10. Gary Scott, the only catch of the game so far has been the two-point conversion. All of a sudden, as Bur Bill Burke has said, I want to do this last drive. He's got an opportunity. What a great way to go out if you're a senior to have the ball last with an opportunity to beat an SEC team like Florida. 30 yeah. yards away, 417. Two timeouts left for the Spartans. They burned one. The Gators burned one. They have two timeouts. Moss and Clemens in the Spartan backfield. And Burke's got time. High to out of bounds. Boxico and the freshman gambled and cut right in front of him. Tita Lito Shepard just jumped right in front of him on that play. The touchdown came on the post, and it's there again. Shepard is playing outside. Most of the catches that Burris has gotten have been outside almost the hash, maybe almost outside the numbers in this football game. They can go to the middle of the field and get that deep post. Alex Brown comes out. Hardman checks in for the Gators defensively. <laughs> Shepard and Cromarty are the corners. Play fake Burke. Throws in zone incomplete. Burris, the intended target, who did not have a chance. He was bracketed again. Yep. Daryl Dixon was there. Burris is very tired right now. He's out of gas. He's trying to throw a deep route. He's barely getting back to the hole. You see, Burke had to let that ball go before he really wanted to that time. Just threw it up. You'd be tempted to try and run the safety off and come back with the run and get yourself a little field position and go for that field goal, if nothing else, if you're Michigan State. 
safeties been jumping him on the bracket. And, and Gary Scott was open last time. You're correct. Third down. There's Scott. There's Burke. Burke is back. Fires intercepted by the freshman. Lito Shepard makes the pick as Michigan State goes to the well once too often. Well, Scott stopped on the route. Just stopped. Dead stop. Watch inside. Watch this. Watch Scott go out and just stop. There's complete miscommunication between the receiver and the quarterback that time. That led to that interception. The safety blitz is successful. Burris wins it. We're still tied <laughs> at 34. Timeout. Russell Coates sitting down trying to get his breath and some energy back. He, according to Jack Arruda, it has to come off after the previous play on third down. Now Johnson hands it off to Gillespie. And Gillespie for a couple of yards. On Florida's last two drives, Gary, only 14 yards. They resulted in one a fumble and two a punt. So they have been unable to move the ball against this Spartan defense right now. And a reminder that the Rose Bowl is on by Well, Julian Peterson has just been the difference for this Michigan State defense. Florida cannot find him. They've gone flopping from side to side. And it seems like he's getting a mismatch, whether it's a slow tackle or a fast back. He seems to be causing havoc. Soft zone from Michigan State here, too deep. Johnson, sideline, complete for the first down. And a reminder that Monday night on ABC, it's the finale for the 30th anniversary season. The San Francisco 49ers against the Atlanta Falcons. Will this be the last game by the great Jerry Rice? We'll have to wait and see about that. Then there's also a contest, a chance for you to win Super Bowl tickets. So make sure you dial in ABC on Monday night. You have to listen to the game to have a chance. Travis Taylor making that catch now has 11 catches for 156 yards. First down and 10. He also has caught three scoring passes in this game. The ball at the Gators, 36-yard line. Johnson, and miscommunication that time. Daryl Jackson broke the pattern off, and Doug going deep. Let's see, there's communication, miscommunication, bad communication. That probably was no communication on that one. That almost caught, that was just as bad as the Michigan State, not just not as good a throw. You see, you're going to get Eric Morris coming in here to blitz, man-to-man -man coverage with a free safety, and we'll see what happened here. Guy comes down, runs a stop, and going and stop. See, that just hung your quarterback out again. you got to run the play. As called. There's no such thing as a stop, go stop. 24-49 for 288. Three scores for Johnson. Second down and 10. Underneath, Willis at the 41-yard line, incomplete. The linesman was going to give it to him from behind. He couldn't see, but from across the field, the other official with a clear look said that the ball was not held cleanly as he hit the ground. So the bugaboo for Florida, third down in the last six games prior to this game, Florida converted 16% only of their third down conversions. Third and 10. Crucial here. They're 6 of 14 in this game. This is the 15th third down play for the Gators. I'll tell you, Michigan State is confused. No help at all here. Johnson on the blitz are not going to be able to take advantage of it. They were all lined up at the line of scrimmage, and Thomas Wright came across on the safety blitz to make the play on the call by Miller upstairs. That's the fifth Spartan sack of the game. The all-time best Spartan sacking team this year. You see the two safeties inside. Both come, nobody deep on third and ten. You would assume some safety would be back there. Not enough guys. Johnson has nowhere to go with Inside of two minutes, the SEC and the Big Ten have gone to overtime once already today. Georgia beating Purdue. We're 145 away from a second OT between those two conferences. Scott, fair catch the signal, and he makes it at the 38-yard line, and they didn't give him enough room to make the fair catch. 
Now, you know what I think about you know, that now, rule. I'm not going to get back into it you again. You know, Brett, now as the new millennium, I didn't like it in 99, but in 2000, I agree with you more. <laughs> <laughs> on the yeah, it's a waste. Five yards. First thing. I think every hundred years they should change that rule. They should change it back up. <laughs> You know, on a high punt, right. the coverage men are down, signal for the fair catch, and make the catch. Well, That's he right. was to the side of him that time. He was jumping away. But he tried to stop. Yard. He you did. Know, he he did. saw what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> He'll take a break. It's all tied in 34 Orlando. It's rocking in Orlando. 135 to go. Two timeouts. Michigan State of Florida tied at 34. Spartans football, 56 yards away from the end zone. Play fake. Burke comes up firing in burst with another catch out of bounds at midfield. He picks up five yards on that reception. Every time he catches the ball, he adds to his career high, which now stands at 13 for 185 yards and three touchdowns. His first game as a head coach, Bobby Williams. Elevated from associate head coach and running back coach when Nick Saban left to take the job at LSU. Clemens, first down, Michigan State. Pounds across the 40-yard line. Paul Edinger, their field goal specialist, has a strong, long leg. He has made one from 46 yards today and missed one from 45. Edinger is three for four from 50-plus yards with the time now starting to come down and the Spartans will be thinking about putting him where he wants to be. <laughs> That's next, of course, what's time for the Stanford when we finish. First down. They'll run. Clemens to the 32-yard line. Bringing it down those seconds. And then they'll turn it over to Edinger. If he hits it, Spartans could wind up with a big win here at the ourhouse.com Florida Citrus Bowl. If he misses, they'll go on into OT. you got to wonder if Florida isn't going to take a timeout here. State obviously playing for a field goal. If I'm Florida, I'd want one more chance with the ball. Second and four. Need a stop. The Gators do. And Michigan State Burrow is right straight ahead. Every yard brushes here with Andre Davis making the stop. It just inches Edinger closer and closer for Bobby Williams. Third and short, if my memory is correct, three times Michigan State has run the ball and been stopped. One time they play action passed it to the fullback to pick it up. They have not been successful running the ball. The situation calls for a run with this amount of time left in the game. Edinger on the sideline. Who took that timeout? He has not been signaled as to who called the timeout yet. Yeah, I think it was Michigan State. Oh, I saw that okay. graphic okay. right there. The Michigan State is down to one. All right. And uh, Florida still with two. Okay, so if you're the quarterback, you got to be talking to the coach and saying, listen, I threw the ball to the fullback and we picked it up. Let's not leave it all to our kicker right here. I can throw the ball to the flat. It's a very safe play. Coach Watts, give me a chance to run that play action pass and dump it off. That's what I'd be doing if I was the quarterback. A couple other fellows nervous over there. Number 52, the long snapper, Mike Neal. The holder is busy right now. That's that's Bill Burke with time coming down. Paul Edinger with all his relatives, family, and the stands watching. They live nearby in Lakeland, Florida. He played down at Kathleen Senior High School in Lakeland. He was an outstanding soccer player, so he waits his shot. Third down and two. 24 seconds to go. Yep. This is a little shift in motion here. The toss play, Clemens, first down, bolts free, helps Edinger, down to the 23-yard line. Remember, they still have a timeout left. That stops the clock because of the first down. Yeah. 
Spurrier can only watch from that sideline out of his hands right now. I think right now you center the ball in the middle of the field and kick it. They're going to bring it down to three. You saw Bobby Williams make the signal, yep. and there is the timeout. And while they get ready for this kickoff, let's thank some folks. The producer of the game today, Jimmy Ressler, directed by Drew Esikoff. Technical director, Doug Schmidt. Associate producer, Mitch Green. Associate director, Brian Gordon. Our production manager, Kenny Nelson. The technical operations manager, Mike Farrell. Assistant to the producer, the Z-man and the X-man, Kaliski and Cisco Nina. Our computer stats, Mike Kaplan. Our stats man up here, Roger Riley. Our spotter, Brian Movelson. Don Schlafman was our stage manager, and thanks to the Michigan State SID, Big John Lewandowski, and in Florida, always does an outstanding job, John Kimenek. So now in his first game as a head coach, it'll come down to a field goal with time running out. Paul Edinger, who loves, loves to play video games, and we are told that the one player on the team who can handle him in that EA college football is Plaxico Burris. <laughs> well... Let's set the stage here. You've done it really good. Remember, all these players went to bat for Bobby Williams. The coaches did, and now they have an opportunity to knock off the Gators here with a field goal. It would be the first ever three-game losing streak in Steve Spurrier's career at Florida. It will be from 39 yards. He's Florida hit one has from a timeout 46. to give, though. Florida has a timeout to give. Yeah, they're going to ice them. They're also... Ice and our good buddy Keith Jackson <laughs> out there with Dan Fouts who are waiting to bring you the Rose Bowl presented by AT&T. Hang on out there, Keith and Dan. Happy New Year to you fellas. Run those floats by one more time and play the game. We'll get to you just as soon as this baby's finished. It's been a good one, and I hope your Rose Bowl out there in Pasadena is every bit as good as ourhouse.com's Florida Citrus Bowl was, and that goes through for the FedEx Orange Bowl, Brad Nessler. And Bob Greasy will be on later tonight to bring you that game as the excitement continues here during the bowl season. The young man who was a soccer whiz at Lakeland with a chance to give his new head coach a victory in his first game. He pushed his last one. A right-footed kicker missed it right. He had to pull just a little bit more and get that thing down the middle. Florida 34. Stay tuned now. The Rose Bowl presented by AT&T between Wisconsin and Stanford is next. ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. So long, everybody. Happy New Year.